In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on differentiability. Now differentiability we know how to check. You have to just simply check left hand derivative and the right hand derivative. And if those are equal, I say that my function is differentiable. So I have a question and that question is discuss the differentiability since it is differentiability I have already underlined it of x mod x. x mod x is my function. I have already written that my fx is x mod x and you have to check it at x is equal to 0. Now when mod x comes into picture we find it easy because we already know what is the interplay of mod x. Mod x has two values minus x and x. Minus x when my x is less than 0, x when my x is greater than equal to 0. This we already know. Now if mod x is such, what about x mod x? x mod x again can have two values. Firstly, when x is multiplied by mod x which is the above one, that means minus x. So it is minus x square. And that happens when my x is less than 0. Next. When x is multiplied by mod x, that means x greater than equal to 0 case, it is x multiplied by x which is x square. Now, x square and minus x square, two values. And these two values actually help me in finding out the left hand derivative and the right hand derivative. The left hand derivative at x is equal to 0 is what? Let's see. I have to basically go for limit x tends to 0 negative and the differentiability says f of x minus f of a upon x minus a should be the formula. Now what about f of x in case of left hand derivative? Left hand derivative means less than 0 and less than 0 means minus x square is my fx. So it is minus x square minus f of 0. f of 0 means equal to 0. Equal to 0 means x only or 0 only upon x minus 0. Right? Now limit x tends to 0 minus x square minus x in division. It becomes minus x because what is it? Minus 0 minus 0 will vanish. It will be minus x square upon x. So you have minus x. Now limit x tends to 0 for minus x means you are directly substituting 0 there. So you get the answer as 0. This answer 0 is of what? Of left hand derivative. When you are done with left hand derivative, let us go with right hand derivative. Right hand derivative at x is equal to 0. So it is limit x tends to 0 positive. Again the formula f of x minus f of a upon x minus a. This you might have learned till now. Then fx when x is greater than 0 that is x only so I write here limit x tends to 0 x minus 0 upon x minus 0. How this has come let us see it again. Denominator is x minus 0 fine. Numerator fx. fx should be when x greater than 0 x I write here x and f of 0 means what is the value when x is equal to 0 it is x only so it is 0 only. Now these both cancel to 1 so it is limit x tends to 0 and here it is 1. Now you see that okay first thing one uh, mistake has been done fx minus f of 0 what is fx? What is fx when x is greater than 0? You have to see this function fx when x is greater than 0 because you are not seeing only mod x but x mod x fx. So fx is x square I am so sorry let us write it again. Now x square is here minus 0 upon x minus 0. Let us write it again. It is x square minus 0 upon x minus 0. Now x square minus 0 is x square upon x minus 0 is upon x. So it is x square upon x. Things cancel so it is basically nothing but what limit x tends to 0 x which is what 0 only because 0 is tending there. So you see that the answer to the left hand derivative 0 the answer to the right hand derivative is 0 since left hand derivative is coming out to be equal to the right hand derivative I say that my function the function which function fx x mod x is differentiable at x is equal to 0.